So here's something that's right out of the paper this week. Um, uh, there's a Gallup poll that, that shows that 28% uh, of Americans believe that the Bible is literally true and should be taken as the literal truth. Are you one of those? Yes. Okay, I made a little list <laughs> of the things, things that are in the Bible that if we took it literally true. Uh, slaves must submit themselves to their masters no matter how harsh. Right, at, right off the bat, we're, we're believing in slavery. Well, <laughs> this, was a, this was a pretty spirited debate in the United States in the 19th century. And actually, what, what occurred then, the slavery of, of ancient Rome, which Paul was writing about, was a very different kind of slavery. It wasn't chattel slavery. It was usually, <laughs> the it, good was usually kind of it was usually a form. It was come usually on. a form of indentured servitude. Oh, the, come on! The fact is, Ralph, Bill, Ralph. the anti-slavery movement. Spartacus, came, come on, the, babe. We've the, all seen the movie. Bill, Sla there's no good slavery. See, no, this, I didn't say it was good. I'm not advocating it as a labor. But system. the Bible I'm does. Saying it was totally the Bible different. is okay with slavery. No, no, it doesn't. Oh, come and the anti-slavery movement in the United all States. Right came out okay. of the churches. It was a product of the Second Great Awakening. If a woman has, and I talk about that in my book. If a woman has sex before she's married, the men of the city must stone her to death. <laughs> All right. What? I... I... <laughs> Let's Bill, get a good version of that. Bill, what, what did Jesus say when he was presented with the adulteress and the people who wanted to stone her to death cited that verse. He got down on his knees and he wrote in the dirt, we believe the sins of all those present. And he said, let who, he who is without sin cast the first stone. And but, they walked away but if shame. But if the Bible's a... That's in the Bible. If the Bible's a perfect book written by a perfect guy, why is this part in there? If a woman has sex before she's married, why did Jesus need to come along to correct his dad? I don't, I don't get it. Be, because, because humankind is fallen and is sinful, and we all right. fall short of the glory of God. So yeah. 400, years, that, but if, but 400 saying, years after the Abrahamic covenant, but I'm asking, the law was presented. But I'm asking you about the Bible. The, the, yeah. the, it said that the people think the Bible should be literally taken true. And these are the literal words in the Bible from God. Yeah. I mean, but, I, Bill, you're ignoring the New Testament. Not one of those verses occurs in the New Testament. You're ignoring the New Covenant. So the Old Which, Testament, the Jew God, he's bad. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. He's... Bill. I, I, but he said this. Bill. He said this thing. Bill, Jesus he said was this a Jew. thing and a bunch of other crazy shit. Jesus. He, he said this thing. He, he said this. I'm, yeah. I'm quoting. You're, Ralph. you're being you're being very selective. So you're also. But I should. But see, that's the thing. If it's perfect, but, why? Why? But, what do you mean selective? Look at all of it should be perfect. But look at. All, look shouldn't at, all of it be perfect? Look at my point. You, you could just as easily. You could just as easily cite the dietary laws in the Old Testament, which today's observant Jews still observe. But again, if you go to the New Testament, there's a new covenant that demonstrates that's not the path to ultimate okay. salvation. I, 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 right. Can I'm, I just I'm, make the point, you're not going to get to heaven by observing do's and don'ts and rules. You're going to get to heaven by a personal relationship with God <laughs> through His Son. I, I, that's how you get to heaven. Okay, I just didn't know that that's how it worked, that, that Jesus had to come along to say to him, Dad, no, your shit is whack. <laughs> Ralph, thank you very thank much. You, I wish we had more time. You're a good sport. Good to be